Hey, what is up, guys? It is Rezoid here, and we are in Roblox, as it would seem, and we are playing the McDonald's Tycoon. So you know what? Actually working at McDonald's today. I work in fast food in real life, so let's see how it is on here. So I don't know. I claim this land right here, but I'm not. I'm not really sure what what this means. So I don't know. We we got 22 cash to collect, and that was it. So we got we got 22 dollars now. What what can I what can I do with that? What what is this? Begin working. Okay. Oh okay. So now that's is that gonna make me money? For okay, so I get a dollar per each one of these. Buy a dropper. What is what is that? What's a what's a dropper? What is this? I have no idea what that is. I got $36. Oh, so if I buy a droppers and another one of these things, so then maybe I'll get double the amount in the time. The dude has a, he literally has a McDonald's over there. It's crazy. $52. You wanna go a little bit faster? Are you supposed to be our, my hamburgers here? They basically look like a McDonald's hamburger to me. All right, 14 more dollars. Okay, we just need three more. Three more, three more bucks. There we go. Let's go. Let's buy a new dropper now. What the? Two dropper, materializer, or color? Okay. And then walls. So is that for like the building or something? Because now I'm getting money a little bit faster. I think I'm going to get another dropper, get three times the amount of money. Right? Okay, so I only got I got 50 bucks now. I just gotta wait a little bit for this. You know, I don't I don't really know too much about this, but so far, I mean, I'm I'm figuring it out right now. Maybe it'll be easier. In a, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what's going on. So now I got 88 dollars. We need 150. Almost there. We need like 70 more dollars. Come on, you can do it. We're just going to wait for this to hit 70 right here because there's no point in even just picking it up. I don't think it goes any faster. All right, now we got the amount of money that we needed so we can go and we can buy our dropper too. That one looks a lot bigger. Does it drop like, does that more money? Okay, so it seems like I get, I get five for that one. Is that what? Yeah, okay, I get five for that one. Well, I don't know what an upgrader is now though. Oh, a mega dropper is a thousand dollars. I don't think that's worth it yet, but if I can get like a, a colorizer, whatever that does, or an upgrader, maybe an, I'll try an upgrader. Let's wait for $300 and then we'll get an upgrader and see what that does. Come on, here we go. All right, now we got $300. Now we buy an upgrader. Okay, so what is, does that make them all? Okay, I think that, I think that ups the money on every single one of them. So now I'll get I'll get more money for each one of these that passes through the upgrader. So that's cool. No, I don't want to I don't want to pay Robux, okay? So now we should buy a colorizer, whatever that does. That's five hundred dollars. We're almost there. We're at three fifty. Come on, only a couple hundred more, and then we get a colorizer, and then maybe a materializer after, or we can get walls, which I don't think that's gonna help our cash flow at all. But hey, you know. All right, we got five twenty-seven now. So a colorizer. Just changes the changes the color of it. Does that do anything for us? I don't really know if that does anything except for looks. And now it looks like patties at least. If that's something. I think we should just save up and get a mega dropper. Okay, now it seems like we got a we got a visitor. A visitor going through my tycoon and just Okay. And she just changed the color of my... No, okay, change it again. I don't know how I feel about that, but that's fine, I guess. Just keep changing colors. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, no no need to ask me or anything. Okay, we got $1,000. Now we can get this Mega Dropper right here. Okay, okay, I like where this is going. I like, I like, I like that. Drops a big old amount of money. But what is this? Can you please... Like, get out of here. Stop changing my colors. I'd appreciate it. Keep it on. Keep it on the one that I wanted. Thank you. And they changed it. Okay. That's that's okay. I, I guess you can do that. 
can I even get anything else? Besides a materializer, what does this even do for me? Okay, that's pointless. This is literally just to... Now we got, we got rusty... Rusty pink... Oh. Okay, she can just change that too. That's cool. You know, I didn't want to. I didn't want to build my own tycoon anyway. So I wanted. I wanted her to do it for me. Apparently. Well, now we can buy our first wall. Let's see what that does for us here. That's it. Window frame, seven hundred and fifty dollars. I think. I think we can manage that. We can manage a window frame. Only need a couple more bucks for this. All right. Now we got the amount of money to go buy this window frame. Now we're actually gonna start building our McDonald's here, right? Gonna start looking pretty good. Oh yeah, okay, that's a little bit better. Now I need a couple more bucks so we can actually buy the windows. Once this um, okay, she's gone. She uh, changed it back to what I wanted apparently, which I guess I'm fine. I'm fine with that. It's cool with me. Windows. Bam. We about to have our McDonald's up and running soon, boys. Two wall, five hundred more dollars. Jesus Christ. A lot of money for a McDonald's, might I say. Okay, it's getting there. It's getting there. Buy a pillar or buy walls three. Or buy an entrance. Is this gonna do anything for us? Or no? Is this just just um just for looks? Maybe I can like build an inside or something and actually get customers. That'd be kind of nice. Hire someone, you know. Okay, about my next walls, I guess. Oh, okay, we got the we got the back working now. That's what I like to see. The back of the McDonald's. Buy a signpost. Okay, I don't know what that's gonna do for us, but hey, we're gonna we're gonna buy a signpost right here. McDonald's. No, no McDonald's. No McDonald's sign. Oh, uh, you gotta actually you gotta buy buy the logo. So if you if you want the McDonald's sign, you gotta actually buy the sign. So I guess that makes sense. Can't just come with the wall. And she's back. She's back again. Back to come and you know mess with my settings because you know why not? I right, what what color are you gonna change it to this time? Oh, pink again. A very original woman. Now we got seven hundred eighty-seven dollars. I don't even want to buy the logo. I don't really care. The cafe sign. What does that look like? Whatever. We're gonna buy this pillar right here. Come here. Come here. Bam. Pillar. That's what I like to see. And now we already got enough money to... No, do we have enough money to buy anything? We can buy the McCafe sign. Bam. Oh, wow. It's starting to look like a real McDonald's now, ain't it? Now we got to buy an entrance. How much is the entrance? Is that $1,000? $1,000 just for an entrance? Are you kidding me? I'm going to wait for that $1,000 right now. Here we go. Here we go. Oh no, what'd I do? There we go, we got $1,000. Let's go hurry up. I, f I keep forgetting that you can't really run. So every time I press shift, I'm into this mode right here. But okay, we're, we're gonna stay like this and buy that entrance right there, bam. And that's that's all it did. It made me something that was that cost me $1,000 for that. $1,000 for that? And $1,000 for carpet? Really? So you tell me I gotta go all the way back and wait for a thousand more dollars? Okay, that's, you know, that's cool. Should probably uh, actually finish the roof, but hey, you know, I was just trying to, thought the entrance would be more cool. But apparently not, it's not, it's not as cool as I thought it was. We're gonna, we're gonna buy these roofs real quick. Trying to wait on that. All right, there we go. Now we can buy our first roof, see how this looks. Okay, so it's just like, it's just a basic roof. And now we gotta buy another roof to put on top of our roof. Cause you know, we, you can't just go with one roof. You gotta have multiple roofs. So let's wait for that now. All right, come on. We just need 50 more bucks. 50 more bucks. That's all I need. Best I can do is 50 right here. There we go. We got a thousand dollars, and now we can buy our second roof, which I think is the. Did I buy it? Did I get my second roof? Okay. Uh, apparently, I bought a second roof, but now I need a third roof. For my second roof, because you know you need three roofs if you want to have a if you want to have a McDonald's, you can't just have one roof. Uh, it, 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 it's not a McDonald's unless you buy the logo. Let's go buy that logo real quick. Here we go, and 
Bam, there we go. We got a McDonald's logo. That was $500 just for that, that logo. Definitely worth it. All right, now we got to wait for the $1,000 again. Here we go. We need 50 more bucks. Give me that 50 bucks to 1000 right there. Bam. Now we just got to go and buy this third roof. And I hope that's the last roof. And then we can buy a McDonald's sign. Interesting. So we do have our last roof. But now we got we to gotta buy a sign, apparently. Um, mm -hmm, another $1,000. Wow. Really expensive out here to be a, a McDonald's owner. There we go. We're back to the same thing. Only 50 more bucks. Easy money right there. Now let's go in. Let's, or let's, buy our, let's buy our four. I don't know if we need the McDonald's sign yet. I don't know what that's going to do for us. I don't know what any of this is going to do for us. Hopefully, eventually, I'll start making some more money after I get this carpet. Chairs and table. That's that's quite a bit right there. That's, that's a lot of money. That's for a bunch of chairs and stuff like that. I uh, wonder what that's going to do for us. If I buy the parking lot, will I get customers? Or am I just going to have to, you know, live off this for the rest of uh, rest of a while, you know? Well, you know, here we go. We're back to uh, being at about a thousand. That girl walks into a wall over there. And there we go. We got our thousand dollars. Let's go buy this McDonald's sign and see how it is. What is this McDonald's sign right here? Where is? Oh, that's the that's the Mc, that's the McDonald's sign apparently. Huh? Thousand dollars for that. You know, living living the McDonald's owner life is um uh, more expensive than I thought it would be. You know, and we are almost there to getting that. Oh, there we go. As I say that, we're about to, oh okay. There she goes, back back to running run into her walls. But now we can go and buy the parking lot and see what this even does for us. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just $1,500 just to put lines on the floor. Exactly what I uh, said it would be. Hmm. You know, I thought there'd be a little bit more depth into this game. Or is it really just this and then you're buying a McDonald's? Is that... Or, I mean, you're building a McDonald's. Is that really, like what this is and then it's done so i spend my time building up the mcdonald's and i can't even really do anything with it is that what this is like because i'm not i'm not really seeing the overall end goal here like what is this going to do for me i guess we'll see let's go let's go buy some chairs and stuff like that see if that does anything for us all right so we're here now we can buy uh some table and chairs i guess and we have our first customer. Which, uh, I don't know what she's gonna um, do with that, because that's not gonna get her anything. But hey, you know what? We'll go buy a counter. I'm gonna save up to 1500 bucks, buy myself a counter, and see what that does. Here we go, we're about to get to 1500 And there we go, we should have it. Yeah, we definitely do. Now let's go inside, let's see what this counter does. I'm, I'm assuming it's just a... A counter that goes in the in the middle. Okay, let's dodge that. Don't don't buy that yet. And then bam. Okay, okay, we can buy some registers. That might be helpful. That might actually get us some money. Maybe. I could be wrong, but maybe I can start making a little bit more money. All right, so I waited a little bit. Waited to get that two thousand dollars. We're almost there. If we can get this $2,000, then we can buy our cash register. I think it's only $1,500, but then we'll be that much closer to being able to buy two of them, hopefully. And if we can get two cash registers, you know, that's that is a double the money right there, right? Am I wrong here? What's this? Oh, nothing. This is my inventory. Okay. Oh, my. All right. Um, well, luckily, I waited for uh, $2,000. Because I wasn't paying attention and ran to the chairs and table uh, buying section. And you know what? I bought that. So now we can still get a register. Now let's go check out this. I was hoping maybe we get the register and then get the counter design. Whatever that is. Let's not run to that again. And let's buy a... No. Let's buy a cash register right here. What does this do for us? Oh, okay. I can, I can buy a cashier now. Okay. That, that sounds... Uh, that's reasonable. Now, if I buy a cashier, does that mean I can finally get customers? Because now I got a worker. So, you know, I got to start making more money than I'm making right now. Let's try this out here. We're almost there. Come on, 
thousand dollars there we go now let's go buy our, our cashier and maybe then this uh this girl who wants to come over here can come buy something you want to come buy something fennel tv is that your name fennel Fen, fennel v fennel v let's uh let's get you a red oh my god come on cashier right there bam cashier now can someone is that gonna What is this? What is uh money? Charge? Price is still uh, zero. Okay, um, don't really know what that did for me, but hey, you know, we're we're about to start making money out here, right? Right? Am I wrong here? Start making some money. Hey, we got $1,500. We can go buy ourselves another register. Oh, wait. Wait, I need two more bucks. There we go. Now we can buy ourselves... Oh, no. We don't want that. Miss me with that right there. Let's go in here. Let's go and buy ourselves a new register. Or, ooh, a counter design. Or couch and table. Huh. Oh, there's a pillar here, though. We. Oh. I, I don't know what the point in that was. Why are they going to make this entrance... So far, man, I got to go all the way around every time just to get more money. It's like a waste of my time. Let's save up enough so I can get all the... I'm just going to save up and wait for all the couches and chairs and stuff like that. Or tables and chairs, whatever it is. And then I'll see you guys when I do that. Alright, here we go. We are back and I saved up to about $3,500. So that means I got I got 4000 to spend on... Huh, just... Oh, oh, I could buy a drive through Oh, this changes it up. Hold up. Let's wait for that. I did not see that right there. We're going to buy ourselves a drive through Forget that. Wait about uh, a thousand more. I didn't even see that. Let's get back to that. Let's get back to the waiting game here. Here we go. We got about $900. $910. That's exactly what I... Oh. Never mind. There we go. That's what I needed. Now let's just hop onto that drive through right there. Bam! We got ourselves a drive through Now is there anything we can do with that? Can I buy a drive through window on the inside? Uh, on the outside, maybe. Let's go. Let's go check around. Let's go explore. Okay, so I do got this uh drive-through window right right here. Can I even get into there? Okay, apparently not. Is that uh all that's gonna do for me? Not uh, open up anything else. Apparently not. All right. Well, looks like we're gonna go back to the waiting game. We got a lot of chairs and tables to buy. Oh, oh, I could buy a ramp. What is a what's a what's a ramp gonna do for me here? To get out? Is that gonna get me out of here? Or I, I really don't know. I'm just gonna save up, and I guess we'll see. We'll be back after I've saved up all this money. See you guys when I have have that. All right, guys. After a while, we are finally back, and I have ten thousand dollars to collect right about now. Bam, let's go see what we can buy now. I waited quite a bit. I'm sure I can buy all the tables and chairs that I need. And I don't see anything out here for me to buy. But I can buy the ramp. So let's see what that does for us. Let's get this uh, ramp right here. Buy an employee. Okay. And okay, so that does that for us. I'm not really sure what that did. But we can buy the counter design. Okay. Another cash register. Why is there a cashier over here? Okay, another cash register. It goes to the opposite side, apparently. So now we got three cashiers. And now we can buy the inner wall. Employee door. What is it? I don't know what that does for us. A display monitor? Bam, let's buy that, I guess. Okay. So that was apparently what we could buy with $10,000. $10,000, I could buy all the cashiers, I could buy the cashier for there, and one display monitor. Oh, and this wall. We can't forget about that big old wall, whatever that does for us. And I don't know if our uh, income's gonna be that much greater. I don't actually know if it goes up at all for what I just did. Let's go in and let's go uh, buy the tables and chairs right now, cause 
I don't necessarily know what that just did for us. Is our income going up any greater? It really doesn't seem like it is, to be honest. Like, yeah, we have $2,000, but okay, what is the end point of this game? But I'm trying to figure out what is the end point of this game, because I'm kind of going to review the server right now, and I'm seeing that this is... There, there's really no type of progression. You do your one thing, and you can just leave the game at that. You don't have to build the McDonald's. Maybe that's the point of it, but wouldn't you want to see... Maybe you could build fryers or something. Maybe you can. Maybe I'm just not going far enough. That's why I tried to wait the 10,000 see and see if maybe I could build fryers and make money faster and upgrade my McDonald's even more so. But what is the, the point of the tables and chairs and all this stuff, if it's not gonna give you AI customers, if it's not gonna increase your revenue, then it's basically, you're just waiting for, for looks. You're waiting to get that, like, just to get that visual feel of the McDonald's. And I definitely could be wrong. Maybe you can go much more in depth in this game than I think, but I think you should maybe be able to make more of these things. So without having to pay Robux, make more of these, design your own, and design them in the back. I've seen tycoons where you can do that. You can design your own, your own thing, like your own type of tycoon. Make it so that you can make more money and you can advance farther. Right now, I'm just, I'm, I'm not seeing much. See, okay, I can buy fryers now, but is that gonna? Is any of this gonna up my production cost? Or not my production cost, but the, the revenue that I'm making. Is any of this upping revenue? Because... I... I don't know... What this necessarily does. Maybe... Maybe I just keep going, okay? Maybe I, I wait until... What, let's say... $10,000 again. Wait, wait till I get $10,000 more dollars. But what is this going to do for me? Is this going to ma make me more money? I don't know. I guess I'll see you guys. And then I'll give you kind of a full review of what I think of this server. And yeah, we'll see. Alright guys, so I am back. And I actually have finished the inside of the McDonald's. And what you would see is kind of unbelievable to me. Because here, I have every single chair bought. All the cashiers bought. Every single display bought. And everything in the back bot and there is absolutely nothing else for me to buy it, it would seem. I checked all around the outside and it seems like there's nothing else for me to do. And I guess I, I beat the game in um what is, what is it? About fifty minutes of me actually recording this game is over. Now I'm gonna give my kind of review on this server because I, I don't know how I feel about this. Okay, it's cool. You can build your own McDonald's. But I think there needs to be a little bit more depth. If you're if you're going to play the server, there needs to be a little bit more depth. Because th this right here, I think this should go more in depth. I think you should be able to build more here. Or maybe build more on the inside. Make your cat, get AI or something that you can actually sell to. And that you make more money. And then you can build a bigger McDonald's. A better McDonald's. And I mean, I know it's hard. It's not. It's not easy work to build a game. But this is just my honest opinion. If you want, if you want um, some people to actually really enjoy your game, that people would actually play this a lot more and actually get really into it. You're not gonna be able to get into it when you're finished with this game within 50 minutes. There's nothing else I can really do. I could buy stuff with Robux, but Robux, I guess you would say. But what is that gonna do for me? That nothing. It, it's not going to do anything for me because I've already bought everything that I could buy. And if I go into someone else's McDonald's, maybe I'll see something different. Um, he actually doesn't have any cashiers, so I guess I guess not for that. But, yeah guys, I mean, honestly, my review of the server, it's, it's not too good. I don't think it's the best because there's not very much progression. You can't go any farther than what, it, even in 40 minutes, I'm done. But, you know, it, it was it was cool to experience. So, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed me playing this. And if you guys want to play it, then you definitely can. It's called McDonald's Simulator. Or McDonald's Tycoon, actually. I don't... 
I don't really know. I think it, it's one of the two. I think it's McDonald's Tycoon. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll uh, see you guys in the next episode, and I will review another server. Peace.